and similarly as it is an underground structure that is there may be a chance of high ground water table which will lead to uplift so let me add that as well it will be a date zero so this much load is sufficient to understand the 2d analysis now let us draw the structure Now the next step is to apply the loads. Assign the uplift. So basically, uplift is or the uplift force arises due to the restriction provided by the base slab for the movement of water in the vertical direction. So considering the backfill up to this point, that is 4.5 meter, the groundwater table should be allowed to come up to this depth, that is up to this head, but due to the slab. it is being restricted now it will apply certain force and that is basically uplift and that goes up to the level of water available that is ground water table but for now we are considering the water table to be up to the point of backfill so we can simply go for uniform load gravity but it will be negative so in case of different backfill level or ground water table on the either side will take the average of s1 and s2 as you can see here 9.81 into head available 4.5 in some cases there is use of uplift coefficient of uh, uplift coefficient of 0.9 that means the backfill considering as 100% the water will rise up to 90% of the backfill height so that is the percentage up to which the water table will rise and if there is provision of the drainage pipe at certain depth of 50% suppose over here then we can simply use 0.5 because the water will not rise beyond that point due to the inclusion of the drainage pipe similarly in some cases there is provision of sub surface drainage like perforated drain pipes but before reducing the uplift pressure considering this sub surface drainage we have to consider the efficiency of such drainage pipes so according to that the uplift pressure will be reduced or released and the efficiency of the drainage will depend upon the size of the drain pipe and as well as the surrounding that is whether the drain pipe is surrounded by the gravel filter and wrapped with the geotextile cloth or not in some cases the base slab is provided with one way seepage valve that is also a technique to reduce the uplift pressure so in this case there is a one way flow of the water so the uplift pressure is completely released that is we can take uplift coefficient as zero as you can see here but this type of drain is is not practicable for all the type of structure because in some cases the infiltration of the groundwater table may contaminate the water quality so we have to consider that as well so it is only practicable where the infiltration of the groundwater table does not compromise the use of the water so for now let us not provide any uplift coefficient so 44.145 is okay 